Greetings and blessings to you on this Wednesday, March the 8th, 2023. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Welcome to St. John AME Church in Cleveland, Ohio. I am Henry Curtis, the pastor, and it is a joy to be spending these time of prayer and meditation with you today. On this third Wednesday in Lent, let us begin our time together with a prayer of confession. Shall we pray? Gracious God, our sins are too heavy to carry, too real to hide, and too deep to undo. Forgive what our lips tremble to name, what our hearts can no longer bear, and what has become for us a consuming fire of judgment. Set us free from a past that we cannot change. Open us to a future in which we can be changed and grant us grace to grow more and more in your likeness and image. Through Jesus Christ, the light of the world. Amen. Hear now the assurance of pardon as it is taken from 1 John chapter 2, verses 1 through 2. If anyone sins, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous, and he is the expiation for our sins and not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. Dear friend, in the name of Jesus Christ, you are forgiven. Our collect today comes from the Book of Common Prayer. Let us pray. O God, whose glory it is always to have mercy, be gracious to all who have gone astray from your ways, and bring them again with penitent hearts and steadfast faith, to embrace and hold fast the unchangeable truth of your word, Jesus Christ, your Son, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Our lesson today comes from the Gospel of John, chapter 14, verses 1 through 11. Hear now the word of the Lord. Let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God believe also in me. In my Father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And when I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and take you to myself, that where I am, you may be also. And you know the way where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going, and how can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. If you had known me, you would have known my Father also. Henceforth you know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father, and we will be satisfied. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you so long, and yet you do not know me, Philip? He who has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, Show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? The words that I say to you, I do not speak on my own authority, but the Father who dwells in me does his works. Believe me, that I am in the Father, and the Father in me, or else believe me for the sake of the works themselves. The Word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Our key verse today is John 14, 9. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you so long, and yet you do not know me, Philip? He who has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, Show us the Father. Let us pray. Lord, speak to me that I may speak in living echoes of thy tone. As thou hast sought, so let me seek thine erring children lost and lone. Now may the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. In Christ's holy name we pray. Amen. Seeing is believing. However, our Christian faith tells us that we are blessed when we believe and do not see. It's hard, if we're honest with one another, 
to put stock in something that is intangible. And yet, that's exactly what we do as Christians. We believe in God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We testify to God's existence and his presence in our lives. But none of us have physically laid eyes on God, and none of us have authentic photos of Jesus in our possession. In today's gospel lesson, Philip makes a remarkable request of Jesus. He says, Lord, show us the Father, and we shall be satisfied. Keep in mind, as he said this, that Philip, unlike us, had first-hand experience with Jesus. He heard Jesus' teachings, and Philip was one of Jesus' closest companions. And upon hearing Philip's request, Jesus replied, Have I been with you so long, and yet you do not know me, Philip? He who has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father. I've come to you today for this time of prayer and meditation to say to you that our faith is often like a pair of glasses. Things that are blurry and out of focus become clearer when viewed through the lens of our faith. Philip had Jesus, who was one with the Father, standing right before him, right before his very eyes, and yet Philip did not fully recognize, nor did he see it. There are objects of God's presence all around our lives, and yet we often miss them. But today the good news is that faith corrects our blurred vision. Faith erases our misplaced doubt. Faith allows us to connect with the one who says that we must approach him by faith, for without faith, church, it is impossible to please him. So on this second Wednesday in Lent, I pray that your faith will allow you to see God clearly, to know that God is truly existent and present in your life. Though we do not see him with the physical eye, he is indeed here. And because God is here, we are here. For without God, there is nothing. The songwriter said it this way, he said, Only a look at Jesus, O soul bowed down with care. He has promised to defend you. He will all your burdens share. Only a look only a look can turn you away from sin. Oh, a look will bring you salvation, eternal life to win. Let us look at Jesus, and when we see Jesus, to see the Father, and to see the blessedness that God has manifested in each and every one of our lives. Thanks be to God. Amen. Please join me in praying the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. May the blessing of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you now henceforth and forevermore. Amen. Please accept this as our invitation to you to join us in worship tonight on March the 8th, 2023 at 6.30 p.m. as we continue our Lenten worship series and if you are unable to be with us in person tonight at 6.30, you may view the service on our Facebook channel. We also extend the invitation to you to join us for worship on Sunday at 10 o'clock a.m. here at our sanctuary at St. John, 2261 East 40th Street, Cleveland, Ohio, 44103. If you're unable to be with us here in the building, then you may also worship with us online on Facebook. 
If these videos are a blessing to you, please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, to like the channel, and to share it with others so that they too may be blessed. Thank you so much for being with us. Have a great rest of the day, a great rest of the week, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Goodbye.